Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today we have a huge XXL project. So I have a scarf out of 300 grams of wool and it's pretty big and nice and heavy. The pattern is V-shaped, so with puff crochets. And I also did a color gradient so you can notice the different colors. I did three this time, all in pink style. So as always you can change those and add more colors if you'd like or maybe make it one color altogether. So yeah, um, it's a really cool project, it's not difficult, it does take a while since it's really huge, but apart from that it's really fun to do. So what you're gonna need is a needle size 6 and yeah. I will be using three types of wool, three colors, so this is all from Rico Designs, it's called Soft Wool, and this one has 300 meters and 100 grams per spool, so it's pretty long and it's somewhat heavier than the usual ones we use. 75% acrylic and 25% wool, so it's for a needle size 5, but I will be using my size 6 to make it a bit looser and a bit bigger. And I have here the colors, so let's see the codes. This is 13, then here 12. And surprise, here's 11. So yeah, 11, 12 and 13 in these baby pink colors. And I will start with, um, yeah, our darkest one. So we will be taking our thread from the inside of the spool so that it doesn't roll apart while I'm working. Anyway, let's start with a long stitch chain and for this project we will need 201 loops. So you can see this type of wool is pretty thin, so it's a tiny chain. But anyway, pick your size and just make sure the number of stitches can be divided by 3. That's going to be important later. So I have 8 here for now. Now that we have 201 stitch done, I measured it as well, so this is around 140 centimeters. And now comes the trick, since it's super long as it is, make sure you don't have any twists or any places where there's maybe a knot or something like that, um, make sure the V should point upwards. So we are good now and I have the beginning and the end. I will go through our first loop and make a single crochet in order to connect these. Now I will go all the way around in double crochets. All around. And here we are, so round one is done, and I'm beginning again. The whole round is finished for now, and we're beginning with our puffs. So we will take three stitches for the height and go through my first loop, but I'm still not closing them up. 
So what we need is a couple of threads on our needle, so three for now, and then again, so four. And we need seven total, and then through all of them. The second puff I will do to the right from the first part when I'm done with the entire row. So let's leave two out for now and go into the third loop from where we are and do the same thing again. I'm demonstrating it again so that you can see it well. Now we'll do the second half of our puff V exactly next to this one. And now we're not closing it up because we're doing another puff right away. So again, 7 threads on the needle before closing it up. So that's how you do the puffs. So no closing up, just continue with the puffs. So like here, skip to the third loop and continue. So that's how it goes and we will continue in the holes in between to get a bit of a zigzag shape. So yeah, I'll be back at the end of the row to show you our results we get. The first round of our puff pattern is now done. I'm here at the beginning, so we need to go through the hole under the puff we did in our last row and just do another puff like before. So that's where we get the zigzag puff order. So we're just beginning like last time, three for the height between these puffs here and that's again the first puff in this row 
and the second half of our entire puff. So we'll just continue like we did last time, seven threads on the needle and through without closing up. So now you can see how the pattern grows and I hope you like the way it looks, I find it really interesting. And yeah, we're just gonna go all the way around this time and yeah. So here's our scarf for now, it grew quite a bit as you can see and it's kind of taking its form now. So yeah, we have 8 rows of our dark kind total and we also have 8 rows total of our lighter pink and I'm now on the top. We are changing the color so that's why I'm showing you right at this spot what we're doing. I will also do another demonstration of the entire row so we're changing from a darker to the lightest of our 3 spools. So I have here the new lighter thread and I wanted to tell you that I measured what we have so far and it's around 120 centimeters, which is awesome, it means super nice and fluffy. So anyway, let's get going. Take the new thread and just simply start using the new one. So yeah, um, there's really no change in um, anything but the looks and the old one is still here. So four lighter ones, one darker thread and just basically act like there's nothing weird about it. Pull it just a bit, that way you can see the effect right away and there's our first puff for now. I also haven't mentioned I didn't change at the end of the row. But you can also do that so that you have it nice. So I didn't care because it's gonna be huge anyway and didn't bother me. This is the 16th row, I believe. Yeah, so the 16th row and it's gonna have a piece in lighter shade and then the next row will be completely light from beginning to the end. This is how I'm gonna go until the beginning of our next round. Here we are, now you can see where our row is, where we started at. So that's our beginning and end put together. Also here is the mixed B puff. 
also the one darker one in the lighter shade and we have the same up here so if you want to change the color at the end of the row that's also fine if not um you pretty much have the freedom and you can follow me and do it right here so i think it looks good just like this and yeah let's continue I will go through here just like before I will end my round with a single crochet and a stitch so watch how I do it. Another 3 stitches and a new row. No stitch now. Go through here to get the whole pearl. again here and keep going so that's the pattern and now I will just finish it up because I want to show you the end result so how it looks when it's completely done um, yeah at the end we will have another row of double crochets in order to finish it So guys, I did another 8 rows in the lightest shade we have and I have just a bit left over so I'm um, yeah, exactly at the beginning now and I will just finish it off over here so I will finish our beginning um, pearl. And now we are done. So yes, we have 8 rows from each spool and around 8 with the other ones. So around 24 rows total, which is really awesome and it is a lot. I know it takes a bit more time than our usual project, but it really pays off because the result is just amazing. And yeah, um, let's quickly finish with our double crochet round. So just watch and repeat. You can notice some places are looser than the other ones, so this is okay, it should be like that. So the goal is to have it like how we started it, so let's finish it here. And here is our last double crochet. I'm really excited to have it done. Um, yeah, you can also notice that it looks really cool. Um, I'm really excited. I know I said it a couple of times, but I hope you guys um, think it's cool as well. Um, it's really something new that I did and XXL projects are really cool. 
Um, you can also see the ending row here and we need to weave the threads in on um, the leftover ones but apart from that we're pretty much done and yeah let me know in the comment section below the video what you think and if you maybe have another xxl idea that we can do together apart from that feel free to subscribe to our channel for our new videos and our old videos for some extra inspiration and feel free to shoot a thumbs up for this video that way we know to shoot more of such and i'll see you in one of our future projects have a great day. Bye.